quick point of clarification. There is no S in Hamilton name, just so you know that. It's a common mistake. <clears throat> Most of you don't know who I am, so I want to be quick on who I am. Uh, I live in Ashland. I've been married 33 years. I have four children, ages, forget their ages because I'm old. But they're about 25, 27, 29. So you heard I have four kids. Those are three ages, so I do have a set of twins in there. Uh, <clears throat> And I founded in 1999 a faith-based nonprofit organization called Transformation Network. It's located in four cities right now. Louisville, Kentucky is one of those, of which I was just recognized in Louisville as one of the 20 people to know for workforce development and education. We have facilities in Finley, Bellevue, and Ashland is our main office. What's unique about us, we work with manufacturers and we earn 99.6% of our money. We earn it because we do service work for manufacturers in all those areas. The money that we earn, we then put back into our community in Liberty's Door program, which is for ex-offenders. So when you talk about the heroin epidemic, we've been dealing with those kinds of things for 17 years. We have a small motel where we actually um, work with those individuals in many different ways, and we do not ask the taxpayer for a dime. We can do it without the taxpayer dollars. And we are doing it, and we've been doing it for 17 years. So we want to continue to do that. It's a model that most people could actually take a look at and not go to government for the first uh, line of defense, because that is not the first line of defense. The first line of defense is you, the Christians, and the churches in your community. That's the first line. You have to get involved. We've been doing that for a number of years, and it's been paying off, and it's a very difficult, difficult, and oftentimes unsuccessful operation. But we also know about workforce development. We work with manufacturers, economic development, and workforce development organizations in Ohio, Kentucky, and Indiana. I provide leadership training for CEOs, vice presidents, presidents, and entry-level people. I do team building, communication skills, and conflict resolution. Those are the things I've been doing for 17 years. I've learned firsthand what the federal programs have been doing and haven't been doing. We actually have a, work, a food stamp program and a cash assistance program. We work closely with Ashland County Job and Family Services. That's the four tenths of one percent of our funding that we get that is from a taxpayer. We have a contract and we have to meet certain uh, requirements in order to be successful. We've been doing that 10 years. We put people in a position to work. If they choose not to work and they're capable and able to work, we then ask Job and Family Services to sanction them. But that's not, our, that's not our goal. Our goal is to help them become independent, to be able to work. Because folks, I'm going to tell you, there are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds, and I could keep going on, jobs, and they're not low-paying jobs. Not all of them. Not most of them. I'm done. <laughs> Dan Cole from U.S. Congress has been the 7th Congressional District. Thank you. Thank you.